Today, I will be doing a comparison between a 2D and 3D stress analysis, and more importantly, why a 2D analysis can be far beneficial compared to a 3D. This is for a cylindrical pressure vessel. It has the same pressure, radius, and thickness compared to our cylindrical one. This time it will not have a nozzle. First, we simply do the hoop stress, and this time an actual stress as well. So the actual stress is simply half the hoop stress. Last time there wasn't one since the hoop stress and actual stress were just the same. So these are the values we're looking for. First, we do our 2D analysis. So we make sure 2D is selected for analysis type. Then we simply draw the geometry, create a surface and put in a symmetry. So when we see the mesh, we can see the um, cylindrical pressure vessel. Mesh is our normal quadrilateral dominant and five millimeters. We then simply apply an internal pressure on the internal faces of this 50 megapascals and then a fixed support at the top and bottom and the middle. Then we simply solve for an equivalent stress. And as you can see, you have the hoop stress of 600 or thereabouts and the 300 axial stress. Now we'll do it in 3D. The 3D geometry is simply done the same. You just redraw the sketch and then instead of just a surface, just do a revolve. And this creates the 3D version of the 2D geometry. And this time you simply mesh it with the same hex dominant and a body sizing of five millimeters. So there's no difference in the mesh between the two in terms of sizing. then simply apply an internal pressure. This is not simply done to apply a force in the internal faces, but you simply click, right click, and then you can go hide face. So you can apply the force on the internal faces. Then simply affix the fork on the top and bottom again. The best places I found were on these edges here, but it's not perfect. Then simply solve for an equivalent stress. Again, you can see the hoop stress of 600 and the actual stress of 300 megapascals. So this is how you do the 2D and 3D analysis. And as you can see, you get the same results. The main difference between the 2D and 3D is the computational time required. As you can see, the number of nodes for the 2D is almost a hundred times smaller. The memory used is quite a bit smaller. Same with the result file size. And this is important as if you're transferring the file, this will take a lot longer to load, maybe half an hour compared to just maybe one minute for this. And then as you can see, the time to mesh and the time to solve is far greater. And especially for this simple model, if you've got very complex, it could easily take a hundred times shorter for the 2D than the 3D. So as you see, the 2D can be far beneficial to the 3D to get the same result, but 100 less nodes, and it's far easier to solve and far faster.